what what really st impresses me about what you're trying to do or stagger should stagger us is just the scale of what what is required to be done you've been speaking about uh, uh, the need for zero emissions at a time when uh, you know we need to decarbonize according to you 70% 70 percent, seven zero percent of the world economy that sounds daunting in a way uh, how do you sort of impact on scale <laughs> Which area do you zero down on and why so that you can impact on a scale of the kind that you're talking about? Yeah, zero's a very tough goal because it means we can't just take passenger cars. We have to do planes and trains and trucks. We can't just do um, industry, steel and cement. We can't just do agriculture. Uh, our heating buildings, our making electricity. <clears throat> we have to do every one of those areas. And today, the cost of the green product to make steel or cement with no emissions uh, is over double the current price. And so the cost to go green is simply unacceptable, even for the rich countries, not to mention middle-income countries like India, and so the path to salvation is uh, huge innovations, including things like clean hydrogen or direct air capture or you know, scaling up electric cars and electric trucks to a, a super high level to take over uh, the way we presently do every one of those activities. You know, you've taken from my next question, uh, 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 Bill Gates, because apart from striving for clean energy, uh, what are those three to four innovations that you see, uh, or three to five areas where you can have maximum innovation uh, for real opportunity? You spoke about electric cars, for example. What are those areas that a country like India in particular you see uh, taking going forward can, where we can actually make a difference and impact on scale again. Yeah, so it's great that uh, electric cars are starting to catch on. It's still a, a very small percentage of the market, uh, but as those batteries become cheaper uh, for cars of all sizes, uh, they will become popular and the government uh, will push them with tax credits and uh, encourage the market to shift. Likewise, for making electricity, the cost of wind and solar uh, has come down. And so there, India's also installing large amounts of solar. Uh, and so those are two areas of progress that scaling uh, is very, very hard, uh, even in the next 30 years, to get rid of all the emissions there. The other sectors, though, you know, if I had a magic wand, I'd say we need something to solve the industrial sector. The thing we talk about the most there is this uh, hydrogen, clean hydrogen or green hydrogen, that if it was cheap enough, we would use that uh, instead of hydrocarbons to make things like steel or natural gas. And uh, there's lots of good ideas. Uh, Breakthrough Energy, my uh, uh, group, uh, that includes a lot of partners, including uh, Mukesh Ambani is one of the investors and board members in that. We're investing in a lot of companies uh, who have new ideas about doing that cheap hydrogen. And then the big companies uh, are now looking, okay, how far are they going? Should we partner with them and do this uh, with big numbers? So that's at an early stage, but that would be a, a huge thing. Uh, you probably need 10 uh, areas of innovation uh, and, you know, so we have to, that's where the R&D budget is the beginning here and lots of risk capital, uh, but, you know, only two or three inventions won't solve the entire problem and enable all countries, not just rich countries, all countries to get to zero.